It is the night before the Because We Can Readathon. They were reading my mind when they made this. It runs from June 13th, Monday, through Sunday, June 19th. Perfect week because my husband is at work, the kids are on their cruise, and I have the house to myself. And also, because we're moving and things are crazy, it's super chill. There's not like a whole lot of pressure to read a whole bunch of books and do a bunch of um, challenges, but I do want to vlog this week. I want recently have figured out how to film and edit videos on my phone. I can edit anytime, anywhere. Over the weekend, I knew that this, I was, I was going to plan ahead and figure out what I wanted to read for this week. The challenges are to read 100 pages, read 200 pages, finish a book, read a new to you author, read a book that's been on your TBR forever, read your favorite genre, read your favorite like um, format. And so f I picked a physical book. So I think that I have like my, my one book, maybe two, that I'm definitely gonna read that would fit those prompts. That is um, The Diary of Anais Snin. There's no point in showing it because it has no dust jacket and it's not even the original cover. It's a, a book that I actually, <laughs> for another readathon years ago, I tore the cover off and gave it a new cover because it was falling apart. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna read The Diary of Anais Snin. Um, I have some other things that I'm kind of working through. Um, let's go and talk about those books. All right, so the books on my nightstand kind of, I'm, I'm very like ADD right now with my reading, so there's no telling what's gonna happen. Um, all right, so I have Sarah Addison Allen's Lost Lake. I was literally just talking about, so this is the other book that I wanted to, to, I was hoping to take this to like the park or something like that. All right, so this is the, the source, which is the second in the Witching Savannah series. Who I am halfway through this one. I expect it's gonna pick up a lot more. There's kind of a bit of a slower chunk and kind of did slow down on it and that's why I've just kind of set it aside for a minute, but I do want to finish this book. And I read a ton of today. I don't know, I, I, filmed, I filmed all this stuff. I might insert it in this video. I, I wasn't sure what I wanted to read. So I decided to do a try a chapter challenge to kind of figure out what I'm vibing with. And I think that I will put that at the end of this clip. Okay, so it's not exactly read a chapter. This is like the third ton of French book I've picked up. I'm giving a shot to. It sounds really good, but I think this is maybe more of like a slow fall read. So this is a big no. Well, I also tried My Husband's Wife, and this one seems like it's going to be catchy and compelling and quick paced. Uh, short chapters. So I made it to three, which is also equivalent to page 14. So not that far in. It does kind of go back and forth through different perspectives and also different time periods. So I think that that could be really interesting. This is like a, a, a domestic thriller. We have little disasters. I made it 40 pages into this one. It's going to be um, quick paced. A lot of stuff has happened already in the first 40 pages, so that's a really good sign that this is a book that I can really stick to. Problem is, is it is quite disturbing. So this is actually considered a psychological thriller with an injury to a toddler. That's going to be really challenging for me to read because just anything, like anything that happens to children and anything that happens to animals, they just hurt too much. They just hit too close to home and I just general rule is really don't like it. Um, but it's a good book so far. So that's really good. I have three more sitting next to me, but I'm going to grab some tea. All right. I think I'm calling it on this book called Storytime. It really spoke to me at first because it's supposed to be a commentary on 
standardized testing and it's supposed to be hilarious and really funny and I'm always looking for more books that are just funny but honestly it's really hokey it's very simplistically written like a child's story and it's not really funny you know what it kind of reminds me of it kind of reminds me of wayside school is falling down and right now we're kind of getting just to kind of know the different characters as they're preparing to go to this magnet school but it's just not very good writing and i don't see how this thick of a book is going to it's really kind of cheesy they're supposed to be like the supernatural like demon little demon going around the campus and stuff like that but i think i'm just completely lost interest in this one the flamethrowers 1975 new york actually it doesn't just take place in new york the main character is like from Nevada and then she goes to New York and she is part of the art scene but a specific type of art called land art where I guess they actually go out and make art in the land and take pictures of it or something I'm not really sure what it is and I think that I'm going to like look into it more but it's actually really good writing. I was a little confused by it at first because our main character, she like rides a motorcycle and then maybe also drives a semi truck. I'm not really sure. There's a lot of talk of semi trucks in it though, even though she's on a motorcycle. So I'm not quite sure the correlation there. Definitely a little bit slower paced than some of these other ones that I had picked up. They're still very interesting so far. It feels like really summery because any like road trip books or like traveling books I feel like just belong for summer reading. <laughs> All right, Cloud Atlas I believe is going to be phenomenal. It's, I didn't realize this, but it's considered a puzzle. They call this like a puzzle book, which I'm very, very intrigued. But he uses some very interesting language and is construct of sentences and it's going to be a lot of brain power than what my brain is capable of right now and what I'm kind of I think needing right now so I think I'm going to hold off on this and we're going to grab a couple other things to test read but one of those was Little Disasters by Sarah Vaughn and I read so much of this today I think I read like like this much so about 150 more pages to go um wow this book psychological thriller and it tackles the problem of like mothers who have like kind of a postpartum depression issue her so her baby ends up in the hospital with a skull fracture she's under her and her husband are under investigation all the people in her lives how they are reacting to everything she seemed like a wonderful mom very particular like a, a one of those helicopter kind of kind of moms and so this is all just like unbelievable to people the only thing i have to say is i feel like there's a lot of repetition in here they kind of go back to different um like they switch people's perspectives in here um from jess uh from jess and her friend liz and um Jess's husband Ed and speaking to the police and you just you get a lot of the same story over and over um, as they go and reiterate some of these facts it kind of bogs it down a little bit however it's very simplistically written that um, I can kind of skim a lot of these things and so it makes it a quick read anyways so this one I have not made a whole lot of progress on I took this on our road trip a couple weeks ago to Alabama and it's so jam-packed with so many concepts and such lyrical writing and so much um, of her thoughts on on life and her assessment of people how do I even explain that she leaves nothing out so she was meeting Henry Miller for the first time ever at him before he she saw him she says she like closed her eyes and tried to imagine him before she saw him and then when she she finally opens her eyes then she takes him in and and 
um, then puts all these pieces together in her full assessment of Henry Miller. And that's just like, as I said, it's like she doesn't leave anything out and so you want to take your time with it. Other one, I don't know if I'm liking that much, and that is Prom Nights from Hell. I read the first story today. No, I'm just kidding. It's very simplistically written. Not great, I'm sorry. But it is about a vampire slayer, and I thought that that was really cool. I wish you could flip this around while you're filming, but you can't. Just for grins, I'm gonna show you my bookshelf tour. Now that everything is packed, I left one shelf out for this week. And this is what's on it. I forgot, I started this one too. These are short stories about monsters. I think that that would be a good, good option. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to start this one yet. Too much going on right now. Poetry collection, that, this would be good to pick up from now and then. Lord of the Rings meets Buffy the Vampire Slayer. These, this one, this one would be really good to read too. This is about Crown Princess of Hawaii. Little skinny ones. Oh, this one. Siddhartha. I did start, I did test read this one as well. Um, oh, I started reading this a little bit. Oh, I started this one, but this one is very distracting to me because um, it makes me think of a, my own story. And so I can't focus on this story when I'm thinking about my other story. So I think I'm going to sit down and write the things out that's in my brain. Oh, I started this one. Mm, I almost DNF'd it, but I think I will go back to it. And then also these as well. All right, well, it's time for me to wash up and lay down and maybe try to get some reading in. I'm like super hyper right now. I don't even know. I haven't eaten dinner yet, and I should probably eat some dinner. So I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy because we can read a thon week. I've already come, it's, well, it's like 10 o'clock right now. And in, in about an hour and a half, we have um, another showing. They're usually like 15 minutes long. They're not a big deal. The, the problem is, is when the people are late to their appointment, it's so annoying. I feel, I feel so weird. Like, I feel like really awkward that there's not like things to do. Um, and like a, a big list of things that need to get done today. But now that I'm kind of thinking about it and jogging my memory, there are some things that I should get done today. Um, so I think I'm gonna go make a cup of coffee and try to think of the things that I, I really should get done today. I am on a roll this past couple days of uploading some videos. I just uploaded I just uploaded a video this morning. It was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but for whatever reason, it didn't fully process. So I finished processing that this morning and it is the Ninja Freakout book tag. So if you wanna check that out, that's uploaded, that's uploaded, ready to watch. Uh, I filmed and edited another video last night, uh, summer reading recommendations. But I was gonna try to wait and give and, and upload it later, but I wanted it to be out sooner, like before summer started. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload that probably for tomorrow. So in lieu of Because We Can read a thon, the challenge today was to read 100 pages, and I have already completed that. The book that I read this morning is Prom Nights from Hell. I read two stories in it, and there's two left to go. They're really cheesy, but at the same time, they are very quickly read. I kind of knew that that's what I was getting myself into. Um, still, I think that they're really interesting stories. The first story, which I ended up actually reading yesterday, um, is called The Exterminator's Daughter, Meg Cabot, and it's like a vampire hunter short story, which I actually just really like the concept of it. It wasn't a very well-written story, I would say, but I have a soft spot for Vampire Slayers. The second story is called The Corsage by Lauren Miracle. I actually really liked this one. It's about a cursed item and kind of like being careful what you wish for. So that was kind of fun. Very cheesy, again, simplistically written. The 
And next one is called Madison Avery and the Dim Reaper by Kim Harrison. I've never read from Kim Harrison before. Uh, this story was, it was okay. The next one is called Kiss and Tell by Michelle uh, Jaffe. I've never read from her either. And the last book in this collection called Hell on Earth by Stephanie Meyer. I think that that story is the whole reason I bought this book um, because I will read anything that Stephanie Meyer produces. Um, but there's my reading challenge for the day. It is complete. The other book I want to focus on today is finishing up this one. I'm just I'm trying to decide what I want to do for like the next hour. I should probably take a break because I'm kind of like getting into a funk. All right, guys. I guess we're doing this today. So we're technically supposed to close on our new house in Alabama tomorrow. But since we are out of state, we are doing, um, uh, we're shipping our closing documents in and wiring our funds. So they went ahead and sent over all the documents today. So I'm on my way out to go get that done. I don't know why I'm like so nervous. It's super straightforward. There's only, only, only 10 pages. There's not even 10 pages to sign, but, um, I am also signing for my husband because he is on an island in Alaska and can't be here. So we organized all of that and that's a new thing for me as well, but it's very interesting. So, but the thing is, is it was really nerve wracking because I have to sign it a very, very specific way. And I just, I get so, I get so much anxiety that like, if I miss a step, it's all, we're gonna have to start all over or it's gonna mess something. It costs us a lot of money to redo the whole thing. So it's very stressful, but I'm, I guess I'm just happy that it's gonna be done with today. And then tomorrow I don't have to worry about it. So, um, all right, I'm off and I will catch up with you guys later. Do you know what? I got so nervous and I realized as I was walking out the door that I can print these documents. So if I mess it up, I can have another copy to do it the right way. Duh. That actually relieves a lot of pressure. So I'm printing out my second copy and then I'll be off. All right, good evening. It is about 10 o'clock at night. I'm thinking about doing daily vlogs. Maybe I'll edit this and then upload it and then start a new vlog tomorrow. My hair is like really greasy, but it's also looking cute. I like it. Anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel, I'm feeling really tired. It's actually really good that I'm actually feeling tired right now because the last like week or the last like four days, I haven't like been tired at all till like after one o'clock in the morning. Um, today was just really stressful. I think it mentally wore me out. Um, thankfully, the wire didn't take very long at all. It's, it's so nerve wracking when you're sending so much money virtually and hoping that all the numbers, nobody typed in the wrong numbers so that it goes to the correct account. Um, it's just very scary. So we like quadruple checked that shit. Well, it was like less than 30 minutes and I heard back that they got the funds. So <sighs> I could breathe at that point. I was sick to my stomach. I was so nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting in bed. I apologize for all the camera shake. No, tomorrow's not a big day, but I do have a few things I need to do, um, just some errands to get done in the morning. And then I can come home and chill out and read and stuff. Um, so, got my list. I'm afraid I would forget anything. So, and now I can, I can just let go of the day and the stress of the day and get into a book. Tonight, I guess I will go ahead and dip into this. But if I'm not feeling it, I might switch over to this. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be reading tonight because I really feel like once I lay down and get get relaxed, I'm going to be out. <laughs> uh, also, I forgot 
to upload my Instagram picture of the books I'm reading, my TBR list. Um, is, is, it's just, it's really hard because I don't have like a set list for once. So maybe I should just do a couple that I'm like going to read that I read today. It's coming a little bit late, but I keep forgetting what the challenge is for tomorrow. I feel like it's join a live. I will think about that tomorrow. <laughs> but for now, good night and I will see you tomorrow.